Is there a difference between trauma-informed, trauma-aware, and trauma-sensitive yoga? Yes, there is. One has a evidence base showing that it reduces symptoms of complex trauma and PTSD, while the others don't. Hi, my name is Kathy. I have 13 years of mental health research experience, and since 2018, I've been working as a trauma-sensitive yoga facilitator. And I really think it's worth knowing the difference between these sort of classifications of yoga so that you can make a choice as to what is best for you. So it's becoming pretty clear that trauma is prevalent. And it's been estimated that about 70% of people will experience some sort of trauma during their lifetime. And uh, this estimation was made prior to the pandemic. So because of the prevalence of trauma, there's been a rise in trauma informed and aware practices across a range of spaces, including um, education, health, and of course, yoga. So a yoga teacher who is trauma informed or trauma aware sort of understands that there's this prevalence of trauma and has some sort of understanding of um, how a trauma history could impact someone's yoga practice. And for example, people who have experienced um, trauma often feel quite disconnected from, from their body. Uh, the way that they perceive body sensations can be altered uh, following trauma. And uh, different tr sort of body sensations or body shapes uh, can be triggering for someone who has a trauma history. So a trauma-informed or trauma-aware yoga teacher uh, will make space for these types of symptoms and, and provide often a, a really safe and accepting uh, place to practice yoga. Uh, so that leaves trauma sensitive. How does it differ? Well, it goes a step further. And so while it does incorporate uh, trauma informed and trauma aware practices, it's actually a therapy that hasn't uh, well, has been shown to reduce symptoms of PTSD and complex trauma. And trauma-sensitive yoga was first developed at the Center for Trauma and Embod Embodiment uh, in the USA. And to help to try and distinguish this style of yoga therapy uh, from other trauma-informed practices, they often refer to it as trauma center, trauma-sensitive yoga, uh, or TCTSY. Now the key here is that this is a really structured method. It's been tested over years, it's been um, experimentally validated, it's been reviewed by trauma experts, and it's been published in scientific journals. So what makes it different? How is it a therapy? Well, there's a few points. Firstly, the language is very specific and um, the language that the facilitator uses. And it's designed to uh, help facilitate processes that can reduce symptoms of PTSD. For example, uh, interceptive awareness so, um, and accuracy. So the ability to um, notice accurately what is going on in, in one's body is um, interception. Uh, another focus point is present moment uh, awareness. So there's more of an emphasis on what's happening right now rather than um, with regards to the yoga practice, you know, how someone um, felt in a pose or shape previously or what they're um, expecting to sort of achieve in the future. It's more really focused in on now. And throughout the practice, uh, there's the use of invitational language. So everything is an invitation, and, and that just allows space for people's experiences because we're all slightly different and have different experiences. So there's, a, um, there's space for sort of physical empowerment through choice and emotional empowerment, um, again, through choice. Um, and on top of this, the, the process or the practice is dosed. So it's actually designed to meet the client where they're at on the day in, in their overall therapeutic process. And dosing is achieved 
through the amount of choice offered and the cues towards uh, well the invitations towards noticing different parts of of someone's body or their body uh, and also perhaps the yoga shapes that might be offered during the practice again this is just just giving space to that to the idea that trauma can really affect choice making um, body perception uh, and so just dosing the practice to to meet the client where where they're at uh, and then on top of that the training is quite intensive for a TC TSY or trauma sensitive yoga facilitator and it's uh, over 300 hours of training specifically in trauma sensitive yoga methods trauma theory attachment theory which is important for developmental trauma or complex trauma um, and uh, the neuroscience of, of trauma and a certified facilitator also is supervised by the trauma center so they have to complete a certain number of um, continuous professional development development points each year and uh, also submit sample videos showing their competency in trauma sensitive yoga methods um, so yeah that's the difference so what's best you know, trauma sensitive trauma aware or trauma informed yoga well it's really just going to depend on what you're looking for if you're looking for a general yoga practice that offers a sense of safety um, and level of awareness of how trauma can show up in a yoga space um, then anything trauma aware or trauma informed uh, would likely be pretty good um, but if you're looking for a therapy if you're looking for um, something that can help reduce symptoms of complex trauma and PTSD then it's worth looking for trauma sensitive yoga and then going a step further and seeing if your um, teacher or facilitator is a certified TC TSY uh, facilitator um, so that's it thanks for making it to the end of the video um, if you found this interesting or helpful please feel free to like subscribe or comment